The demo I'm going to show you is focused on three core areas, simplified management, comprehensive coordinated protection, and critical visibility. Simplified management. We'll focus on how we're making enterprise security easier to manage with a single management console. What we've heard from customers today is that they're using a bunch of security products and, and they each have their own management console and paradigm for security policy. Let me show you how we're simplifying security management with Sterling for IT administrators. So I'm currently in the Sterling management console. Within the console, I have access to a variety of links that quickly give me a view into the security state of the environment. In addition to the dashboard, from within the console, I am able to access policy settings for my environment. Let me click on the Policy button to view this information. As you can see here, I have target groups which contain groups of assets in my environment. These groups of assets could be endpoints or servers, such as exchange servers. These target groups could also contain critical user accounts, perhaps the user accounts of executives in the organization. In the policies container, I am also able to view all of the policies deployed in the environment. I'm going to create a policy to a set of desktops that belong to the marketing organization. On the left hand side, you can see the variety of security settings available to IT to control security in their environment. When I click on a box, I'm able to configure the settings for that section. For example, I can configure the client anti-malware configuration such as scan and signature update schedule. In addition, through deep integration with NAP, I can configure policy settings here to be part of NAP policy. In this case, I want to ensure that endpoints in my organization have the Forefront Client Security Agent turned on and updated before providing full access to the network. Next, I will configure the Windows Firewall for all of the endpoints in my organization. I will also specify that Windows Firewall must be turned on for endpoints in my organization before getting full access to the network. If I were deploying this policy to an Exchange server, I could also configure the appropriate security settings for Forefront Security for Exchange Server, all from a single management console. Now, in addition to security settings, I can control the level of visibility I want into this particular asset. For example, I can get visibility into machines that have depth turned on, the local account status on endpoints in the organization, Internet Explorer security, and UAC. For all of the visibility checks, I can configure whether I want the checks I'm selecting here to be part of NAP policy. Now, I want to deploy the policy to assets in my organization. I have an existing group that I have created that I will deploy that policy to. This group consists of machines in my Active Directory Marketing Department Security Group. So that was just a quick view into how Sterling made security management easier for my environment. I want to highlight a few key investment areas around comprehensive protection. With the growing complexity of threats, it's no longer good enough to have silos of protection spread across the IT environment. I need multiple layers of protection that work together as an integrated security system to protect against the latest threats. Let me show you how Sterling is helping me with that. With my previous products, I was always getting alerts in the console, but I couldn't do anything about it. With the Sterling Management Console, I get information and then can respond. For example, within the Dashboard section of the Management Console, I'm going to click on Security Check Summary. Here I notice a machine which has UAC disabled. Right from the dashboard, I can drill down to get more information on the specific machine.
I can now see that this machine has a variety of malware that has been automatically cleaned. When I click on the Actions tab, I notice a variety of remote actions that I can launch. I can remotely force the machine to turn on UAC. This is all remote and at the control of the administrator. Another aspect of protection is dynamic response. Dynamic response is an innovative Microsoft technology built into each component of Sterling that allows the entire system to share and use security information to dynamically respond to threats across the organization. Through dynamic response, Sterling enables me to be proactive without sacrificing control. For example, I'm going to go back into the policy I just deployed and you'll notice I have settings titled Monitoring and Response. Within this area, I can define a set of dynamic responses that will instantly deploy to provide proactive protection for the organization. In the Response Plan section, I'm going to create a new response rule. In this policy, in the presence of a compromised machine, I will have Forefront TMG, previously named ISA Server, automatically block this machine from the Internet. I will also launch a full comprehensive scan on the machine. All of this happens automatically, with no administrative intervention. So with Sterling, I have multiple layers of defense across endpoints, messaging and collaboration applications, and the network edge that acts as one integrated security system to proactively defend my organization against the latest threats. The third area is around critical visibility. I'm constantly bombarded with a bunch of security data, but I can't make sense of it. The data is also separated into specific security products. What I really need is an easy way to understand my overall security state. With Sterling, I have that easy view into enterprise security state. For example, in this enterprise security summary report, I get a risk level for my entire organization, as well as specific assets. Now, this risk level is based on data from across my organization, not any one specific security product. I can also easily note common historical trends in my environment. In this report, you will notice I not only get visibility into compromised machines in the organization, but also compromised user accounts. Another option within Sterling is a role-based approach to security. In my organization, we have multiple administrators. For example, I have a team of folks focused on our desktop security. Here within Sterling, I'm going to create a custom dashboard for that team. I'm able to drag and drop specific dashboard controls that give them the visibility they need into desktops in the organization. If this were for my Exchange Administrator, I could also drag controls with Exchange-specific data. Once the dashboard is completed, I can save it and email it to them. So with Sterling, we're focusing on providing our customers critical visibility into enterprise security state. This allows for a better understanding of the environment and better security. So in conclusion, as you've been able to see, with this first look of Sterling, we're enabling IT to more easily manage security in their environment, provide comprehensive coordinated protection at multiple layers of the infrastructure, including the ability to dynamically respond to threats, and finally, to get a better understanding of their enterprise security state.